Before we begin buying and selling NFTs on Cardano, on CNFT, what we have to do first is set up a Cardano wallet that will work with it. So what you can do is go to namiwallet.io and then you're going to download a Chrome extension. So after you download this wallet and you set it up, it will be able to interact with those websites that allow you to buy and sell NFTs through smart contracts. So we're going to download the Chrome extension. So again, that's going to be NAMI wallet. So we're going to add this extension. Now all you have to do is click on the top right, click on NAMI, and then you can create a new wallet. If you've already created a wallet, you can also import your seed phrase. So let's click on new wallet and then we will click on accept. And then what you will see, for example, is a string of 24 random words. So what you have to do is write these down in order. Make sure, for example, number one says grief, you write one grief, two rubber, and you never share this with anybody, okay? So what this is going to do is allow you to back up your wallet. So after you click next, all you're going to do is fill in the words that are missing. I am only showing you for educational purposes only. Your seed phrase is sacred. Here we're going to put Cardano Wallet Mitch, and then you will put in a password. So now we've successfully created a wallet. So if we go back to our NAMI wallet, now you can see that we have a place where we can send Cardano to. So you're going to click on receive, and then you can copy this address and send Cardano ADA to this address. So what you're going to do is load up this wallet with Cardano. You can use the crypto.com app, which I recommend, Binance, any other exchange. And then now you can utilize CNFT to buy NFTs using your NAMI wallet. Also, if you want to send NFTs to this wallet, you just send it to the public address and then it will show up under assets once you have assets. So we're going to be using other wallets in this course. Also, if you're having any issues buying NFTs or using a wallet, click on the collateral up here. So click on your account, go under collateral, and then what you're going to do is put in your spending password and add a recommended collateral amount, typically around five ADA. What this will do is make sure that you have enough funds for future transactions. Okay, so we will see you in the next clip.